adventures should not be a pastime reserved only for those riders who have a high displacement, the car rally type of tour. The rising trend started by Honda XADV in 2016 brings us a viable alternative – a lineup of off-road scooters and urban adventure maxi models. These machines offer all-terrain capabilities, manageable lightweight, convenience of underseat storage and automatic transmissions, and surely affordable pricing. It's time to leave the comforts of your home and depart on a quest of a lifetime riding one of these humble yet rugged off-roaders. So subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell and enjoy the ride! Honda ATV 350 Inspired by the success of the rocket Big Boar XADV, the brand's newcomer is an urban-style maxi-scooter ready to go beyond the paved roads. The model sits on a heavy-duty chassis with a non-adjustable 37mm USD fork, dual remote reservoir shocks with spring preload adjustability, and 5.7 inches of ground clearance. The mismatched wheels measure 15 inches front and 14 in the rear, and come wrapped in off-road ready rubber. The scooter is brought into motion by a 330cc single cylinder with enhanced Smart Power Plus. The engine delivers 29 horses and 23 pound feet. While paired with a 5 liter fuel tank, it promises over 200 miles of riding. The ATV 350 also gets Honda's selectable torque control with two modes LED head and tail lights, an LCD dashboard with voice control, and a smart key. Finally, the underseat compartment has enough space to fit two full face helmets and in the glove box there is a USB-C port. Yamaha Zuma 125 Fully redesigned this year, the Zuma is returning to its early roots as a dual sport model, packed with plenty of adventure-ready features. This starts with a new exterior styling. The big-shaped front fender becomes larger and more angular, while the front end looks boxier, getting a reworked asymmetric headlight profile. The newly designed lightweight wheels measure 12 inches in diameter, which is the same size as the outgoing model, but this time they're wrapped into a more afro-tridy tread pattern. The source of propulsion is the familiar air-cooled 125cc single-cylinder, tweaked for stronger torque at low RPMs and more power at high speeds. The mill's estimated fuel economy is 101 mpg, so from the 1.6-gallon fuel tank you can expect to squeeze out over 150 miles of range. Finally, ABS with the linked brakes, LCD display and a USB-A socket in the storage compartment are included as standard. Kimco DTX 360 The new maxi-scooter by the Taiwanese Kimco has been designed with the weekend adventures in mind. To provide riders with the maximum confidence once they ride off the asphalt, the new DTX 360 comes with a standard traction control system, off-road oriented tires and a bit higher front fender. At the same time, wider handlebar and higher seating position will help you keep control of the bike on rough surfaces. Under its skin, the DTX 360 has a compact steel frame, fitted with two adjustable shock absorbers and a telescopic fork. The power comes from a liquid-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder with 321cc displacement, which returns 28 horses and a solid of 22 pound-feet of torque. For the asking price, the Skimco also gets you LED units both front and back, a full-color dashboard and a keyless entry system. Do not forget that the like button is still there and needs to be pushed. Fuel our efforts of video creation and we promise you informative motorbike videos on a regular basis. Let's keep going! Honda Trail 125 The nicest people still ride a Honda, and most likely it is the history's most produced motorized vehicle, the Super Cup 125. Recently, this fan-favorite model received a rugged modification marketed as either Trail or Hunter Cup 125. It expands practicality with a naked post-apocalyptic facade, raised exhaust pipe and taller suspension. This Go Anywhere machine has a 1.4-gallon fuel tank, which is a one-third more than the original. The Trail 125 keeps the standard's 124cc air-cooled fuel-injected single with a 4-speed semi-automatic transmission, but retunes the drivetrain for optimal pull-off road. It makes 8.7 horses at 7000 rpm and 8.1 pound-feet at 4500. 
The model could be enhanced with countless factory and aftermarket accessories by Tekigawa, Moriwaki and Kitako. Additionally, you can address an outside tuner like K-Speed, who can visually transform the scooterish motorbike into a full-on scrambler with a fake fuel tank cover. Aprilia SR GT Well known for their bonkers motorcycles, the Italian Aprilia is actually a no stranger to the scooter market. This year it adds a new urban adventure model with grand touring capabilities labeled SR GT. Easily recognizable as an Aprilia, this could boost the brand's signature design and borrows various elements from its elder siblings. You will notice a familiar tri-LED headlight up front, heavily fared body panels with sharp lines and a smoked suspended windscreen. The SRGT can be also ordered with red painted wheel rims and red stitching on the seat. On both ends, the bike gets a long travel suspension from Shova. There are two shock absorbers with five preload positions and a conventional fork with 4.8 inches of travel. In terms of power, this compact scooter relies on a 125 or 175cc single-cylinder engine, rated for 15 or 17.5 ponies, and a peak torque of 9 or 12 pound-feet. Opco 2x2 ATV One of the world's few all-wheel drive motorcycles, the Opco ATV, was built tough for the New Zealand's beautiful yet treacherous terrains. This electric adventure scooter is constructed over a robust 7027 alloy 3D X frame. It has stainless steel spokes and 17 inch aluminum rims wearing off road tires. In 2021, its duo of hub integrated flux motors gets a 10% improvement in efficiency and the output of 1 kW each. Paired with either a 2.1 or a 3.1 kWh battery pack, the scoot can cover from 40 to 78 miles and achieves 30 miles per hour top speed. On its products, Upco installs a proprietary quadratic hydraulic and regenerative brake system with independent front and rear control. As for the suspension, it is an in-house developed ATFC 130mm coil front spring and an ATF 120mm coil over rear spring with hydraulic dampener, preload and rebound adjustment. Honda X ADV Positioned between a scooter and a legitimate adventure motorcycle, the X ADV is the company's European bestseller. In 2022, the model is significantly facelifted, which means more aggressive body panels, three new exterior colors, full LED lighting with DRLs, and a more comfortable seat with 22 liters of storage fitting a full face helmet. The makeover introduces a six pound slider frame and the Scoot's Euro 5 compliant liquid cold parallel twin gets a 4 horsepower bump to 59 HP. There is also new throttle by wire with 4 riding modes, 3 level torque control, and the 6 speed DCT with revised gear ratios. The model boasts a new 5 inch DFT screen and Honda smartphone voice control. Hopefully, just like in the previous years, the new XADV will be spotted by custom workshops and we'll see a 2022 version of the world's most bonkers adventure scooter, the x -End. It was developed at Honda Palace Napoli with the help of Rail Factory Design. SYM Husky ATV the latest SYM newcomer will try to compete with the likes of the extremely popular Honda ATV 150 by offering more advanced tech for a slightly better price. This Taiwanese two-wheeler has an adventure touring-inspired styling, gets bright LED lighting, and comes equipped with a long travel suspension setup. Up front, there is a telescopic fork, while the rear piece is represented by a monoshock absorber. The Scoot's 13-inch wheels are wrapped in dual-purpose rubber, and the brakes or discs front and rear. The Husky ADV is motivated by 150cc single-cylinder four-stroke. It is mounted using SYM's anti-lift engine hanging system that allows to improve riding stability. The mill is good for 14.7 horses, 10.7 pound-feet, and is paired with a 15-liter tank. The equipment list also includes a full-color TFT screen with automatic brightness. Rugged Bike the Indian creators of Rugged pompously call the scooter the strongest TV ever made. 
To back up these claims, the product features a high-strength V-shaped frame design and supposedly a heavy-duty suspension. Leading link with anti-dive and four-point adjustability at the front and a four-point adjustable rear shock absorber. The rocket will be sold in two versions, G1 and G1 Plus, the different power of the hub motor and battery capacity. The former peaks at 4 horsepower and would complete 60 miles on a charge, while the Plus raises the bar to 5 HP, 100 miles, and the top speed reaches 47 miles per hour instead of 40. The combined braking system employs disc brakes, alloy wheels have 14 inches diameter, and lighting is all LED. Honda ATV 150 from 2021, Honda's popular commuter is on sale in the US, offering buyers scooter practicality, modest off-roading skills, and plenty of usable features. This model is based on the PCX 150, but according to Honda, it has a clear Africa twin vibe. The double cradle frame is fitted with a non-adjustable 31mm fork and twin shove shocks with remote reservoirs that offer 5.1 and 4.7 inches of travel. The wheels measure 14 inches front and 13 rear, while the max crown clearance reaches 6.5 inches. Braking is ensured by a 240mm front disc with ABS and a 130mm rear drum. The liquid-cold four-stroke single has 149cc displacement and comes paired with an easy-to-use V-Matic automatic gearbox. Lastly, the ATV150 features a two-position windshield, LED lighting and a smart key. How do you like the new class of adventure scooters? Are these legit off-roaders or should they stay on the pavement? Let's discuss these questions in the comment section and do not forget to mention which model you would prefer to ride. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell and smash the like button if you haven't already. More videos are on the screen and as always, may the torque be with you!